All right, so basically for those of you who have a ASI camera, 183 or 294, whatever, use it on the Rasa, uh, you probably bought a filter drawer if uh, you're using one shot colors so that you can, uh, I got it jammed in there. So uh, yeah, if you're using a duo filter or something of that nature, uh, you basically had to buy a filter slider if you wanted to use something of that, like that. So quite expensive just to be able to use a duo filter. And uh, if we, you saw the video on Ask Celestron, uh, they were saying that the uh, standard two inch filter glass would fit in their optical window. So this is the optical window that's actually out of the Rasa. This is just the standard one. Uh, that's my adapter, we'll put that over there for right now. So to remove this glass, you have, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this on the camera, but you got some divots right here, which is what you were using to get it out of the, uh, uh, if you had to use a spanner in order to release it. But on the inner glass, there is also a little divot, little spanners, there's two of them, one on each side here. And if you get your nails in there or use a spanner, you make sure you protect the glass, you don't wanna screw your glass up, but you can twist that off. There we go like so. In order to remove the glass itself. So let's just try, there we go. Don't drag it like I just did, that was stupid. So what I'm doing is this is a uh, Optolong L Enhanced filter. And if you look carefully on the L Enhanced filter, you have the same thing. There's little divots here, little cuts on each side of the filter and this is what's holding the filter uh, in your ring which you would you know normally uh, pull it out here which you would normally you know put in your filter slider and then put it into slider there you go so supposedly we can take these out uh, so I'm going to try very delicately I don't have very much in the fingernail realm here you know, and if you're gonna use some sort of an instrument uh, to pry this off, or not pry, excuse me, unscrew, um, by all means, use something that's not gonna scratch up your lens. You don't wanna scratch your glass up. So, let's see if I can do this. There we go. I'll definitely have to clean this lens when I'm done, but there we go. Came out actually fairly easy overall. Here we go, just take that ring off, and then there's our glass, there's our element. So, we got the stock ring in here, and I'm just gonna look, make sure I don't introduce any kind of dirt. I probably actually should use some canned air to blow out the ring just to make sure there's nothing in there. And then this is gonna sit right inside like that. And then I'm gonna take the ring again which I guess these rings are actually, yeah, the Celestron appears to be just a little bit, a little bit thicker, probably to make up the space. So that's two millimeters on that one. And this one is yeah, just under, just barely under. So yeah, let go back to your original um, ring. I would suggest at least, you could probably use the other one, but use the original ring. So there's the factory ring, and I'm going to carefully, because I want this to go back on level, I don't want it to be skewed. When I say skewed, looking all on the edge, you don't want this. If you actually look, you can see this side's lower uh, than this side. So I don't want to do that. I, want it to, I don't want to cross thread it. And remember what they said, it'll fit, but you got to be careful you just exercise some caution because they're not going to warranty if you screw it up. So here we go. That worked. All right. So just continue to tighten down that ring. Make sure I'm not cross threaded. I'm just using my fingernails here. Here we go. 
All right. So, okay, that's that. So, I got to mate up now the camera to, I'm going to take the outer ring off for now. I got to mate up the camera here uh, to the Rasa, right? So, I've got these things. And, and about, for ASI, you get an 11 millimeter ring, which is great. It's absolutely fabulous. And then, of course, you get like a 16 and a half. Um, and then a, a couple of small small ones. You, you actually get one of these uh, diameter, inner diameter rings. I think it's a, what is it, to a, a 48 to 42 or something like that, or no. It's a, uh, yeah, 48 to 42. I'm going this way, there we go. 48 to 42 adapter. And then I gotta make up a total of 25 millimeters, right? So my camera is 6.5 millimeters of, from the sensor here to the top. So I need 25 millimeters, I'm gonna minus out 6.5, which means I need to make up 18.5. So the way I'm gonna make this up is a couple things I'm gonna do. Number one, uh, usually ASI cameras, you have these paper, these little paper wafers and they're like, what, they're not even half a millimeter. I don't even know what they are. They're, yeah, they're like stupid. Yeah, maybe, maybe half a millimeter. And eh, no way, no way, maybe a third. All right, quarter. So, you know, you always have problems with uh, metal binding up on you, especially when it gets cold. I always put these in between my metal connections uh, on everything, uh, at least I used to in the past uh, on the refractor. So, uh, I'm going to do that again because I can make up half a millimeter and I, it's going to take a lot of these little paper things to make up half a millimeter. So I'm not worried about the half a millimeter, honestly, I, I really don't care, but I am going to need a one millimeter uh, or two even, and we're, we're going to measure it out and check it. So we got this ring, we got our 11 millimeter, so I'm going to make up and I just know this because I just got done figuring it out. So I'm going to take a one millimeter ring. I'm gonna put it on the camera on top of, there we go, my little, I don't know what you would call that, a washer, hell I don't know. And then I'm gonna put my 11 millimeter ring on. So if you see in there, I'm basically at 12 millimeters because I got that one millimeter ring and then the 11. So don't need to be super tight, just enough. And then on the side of the, um, Rasa, whoops, uh, I've done the same thing. I put one of these little plastic rings over there again, just to keep things from binding up and another one millimeter ring or spacer, I should say, just like that, which in effect, if you notice these are dimpled just a little bit and with that one millimeter, there we go, and kind of see here on the edge. With that one millimeter ring, it, it brings it up actually half a millimeter above this plate, which I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen when I go to measure it, measure it here in a minute. All right, so my M4248. Now, I had this spacer, and it's a uh, 6.5, 6.3, 6 yeah, six, 6.3 millimeter uh, spacer and this is a 42, no, excuse me, uh, a 38 to 48. So there's a little bit of spacer. I'm not sure if this came with the camera or not. I'm not really 100% sure where the hell I got this from, but, and you can make up however you want as long as you can make up 18 millimeters, right? So with that, I'm gonna take that inner ring the 42 to 48 and I mean, you can either put it on here or what I did just to make it easier was I screwed it down uh, onto the adapter plate, the Ross adapter plate. I have to be super tight again that's uh, and it also helps too and I just didn't do it because I'm an idiot but <laughs> that ring they have this those little notches in them Go ahead and put those notches out just in case you, you have to get that ring off and you may have to use a spanner or something to get that ring out.
so we can see just exactly how much I have. Let's go in here. There we go. And actually, I need to keep from putting this thing in there. There you go. So I'm right at 18.10, just fine. And then, of course, this now just screws right into the front of your Rasa. So you don't have to do a filter drawer anymore. Um, now, if you're doing mono, uh, different story. If you're doing mono, you're gonna wanna use a filter drawer because you don't wanna take your camera off every time you change a filter out. 